Amigos, we're back. Back with another one. I think I'm like four from four weeks. That's just nuts for me. But anyway, the uh, new format's helping me get some videos out. So happy days. Spud Cam is doing the goods. So um, yeah, as promised today, I thought I would go through using a bit of technology to try and find your own spots or spot X's or spots that could produce fish. Now, all you need to do this, amigos, is your computer and some sort of device that you can use to plug in some GPS points. So this is not a potato GPS, let's call it a cabbage GPS, the cheapest, nastiest, most basic GPS that you can get. Doesn't have maps, nothing flash like that. All it does is basically plot points and tell you where they are. And you could probably do with this with some phone apps like Navionics and things like that, but I haven't played with them. And, you know, if you've got a GPS capable sounder, absolutely could do this as well. So I'm going to show you two different ways to do this. Um, hopefully this will get you from like no spot noob up to, it's not going to get you to guru, unfortunately. Maybe you'll get up to full blown amigo status and you'll be out there slaying fish. But anyway, let's check this out. Let's see what we can do. Okay. So first one that I wanted to show you now, this is not going to be for everyone. Um, actually anyone can use it, but it's more useful if you have a Insight Genesis compatible sounder. So I'm pretty sure that's just a Lowrance or a Simrad. There may be others, I'm not 100% sure. But this is a website, so Genesis Maps, and this is a social map. And what it is, is um, areas that people have mapped with their own sounder to generate some contour maps. Okay, so what we're looking at the, at the moment is um, North Pine Dam, and it's got a pretty good contour map of the area. Out here you can see there's no mapping, that's due to the fact that this is the Out of Bounds area, and again no mapping here, and this is the permit area, but there's some pretty detailed maps in here, right? So we can zoom in and look around, we can have a look at different depths, so this will just load up, We've got different areas, different depths. And it's pretty detailed, so it's pretty good to be able to go out and find some spots. Now, you know, if old mate's on face here and he's going, yep, I'm out there smashing bass in like 14 metres of water or the drop off on 40 metres, uh, it's probably like around here somewhere where I can find areas in this map that are around about that depth. Or maybe I'm looking deeper, deepest area of the dam, so you can go and find them. So this is really useful for getting a bit of an overview of the area that you're fishing. If you do have a Lowrance Insight Genesis capable sounder, you can download this map to an SD card or even I think sometimes directly to the sounder and Bob's Your Uncle comes up in your maps, happy days, you can use that to go and find some spots. You can even generate these, these maps yourself. Now, if you don't have, um, an Insight Genesis capable sounder. These are still useful to look at and have a scout around, but it's pretty difficult to go and actually pinpoint somewhere like that just by trying to orientate yourself off a point or just by sight, right? Because you go there, it looks a little bit different. The water levels are maybe a little bit different and it's harder to find. So what are we going to do in that situation? So I'm going to show you another way to do this and this is how I started out fishing the bay so going out and fishing in the bay or somewhere that you haven't been before can be quite daunting particularly when it's open water and you don't know any spots and it's really difficult okay so the way that I'm going to show you to do this is using Google Earth um, you know Google Earth is nothing new but I'm going to show you a way that's really kind of effective for using it so we're going to have a look at Raby Bay. Only reason why we're looking at Raby Bay is because I don't fish Raby Bay and I don't know the area at all. And we're going to try and scope out some spots. So in just, you need to actually download Google Earth Pro. So don't use the web browser version, actually download the software to be able to do this. And what we can do is go and find our spot. As you can see, this is pretty bloody useless. We can't see much of anything in here. But we can get our share on 
hit our historic satellite data and go back through the years. Now, looking pretty ordinary, looking pretty ordinary. We're looking for a nice, clear, flat, probably low tide day to help us out. Yeah, looking better. Looking pretty damn good there. And we can keep going so we can see a historical map of the area that was in good conditions. I think it was popping back here. Yeah, that was in really good conditions. And we can see so much on here, right? So again, never fished Raby Bay. And straight away, I can start to pinpoint some areas that look fishy and that might be productive. So let's check out, let's check out this bit over here. We'll zoom in over here. This is looking pretty good. Sorry if this is your spot X that I just blew out, but who knows, maybe it's not, not a good spot. You're gonna have to check it out if you wanna do that. But this, we look got this rift here. We got some drop off or something like that. We got some reefy stuff. I'm sure there's changes in depth there. It's looking pretty damn fishy to me. Now, again, like the last one, like the Insight Genesis maps, really hard to go and find this just out in the middle of the water. But what we can do is start putting some pins on here. So if I grab this pin, oh, what's going on? Yep, here we go, got a marker. There's my drop off. Okay, let's call this, what have we got? We got spot X. Okay, and we've got some longitude and latitudes here. I just wanna quickly mention, you have gotta be a little bit careful with this because in here, we got some options. Longitude and latitudes come in different formats. Okay, it looks really scary at first, but all you need to do is make sure that the longitude and latitude settings in Google Earth match your longitude and latitude settings in your GPS unit. Okay, minute, degrees, seconds is very, very common. And most GPSs, you can do the same thing. Go into the settings, change it so that your longitude and latitude is in the right format. The formats match, happy days. All we need to do then is, come on, open up. Oh, okay, or not. Um, let's just put another one. Um, all we need to do is then open this up, look at your longitude and latitude, manually plug it into your device, maybe Navionics on your phone or your GPS or even your sound GPS, and you've got that spot. Let's call this spot X2. Spot X dash two. And we're starting to build up this database of spots that look fishy as and are probably gonna produce. Now that's all well and good, but it gets quite tedious if you're just like going through and um, putting all these different spots. What I would actually do is you just systematically like place spots along here so that I've got a pretty good idea where this ledge runs and when I go head out there with my GPS I can find it, happy days. Um, okay, so if we go and then put a whole bunch of spots in here and we're building up like this, um, these marks of this area of this ledge and we were to go and like try and put all of these into our GPS manually, it can be quite tedious, you know, with some some apps particularly i think navionics you're gonna have to do that that's the only way to do it but there may be a better way to do this so i could go through and i could actually um map out a whole bunch of stuff in here all these likely looking areas and when i'm happy that i've done that i can actually then go and export this or save it as a kmz file so all this is going to do is export all these marks and tracks to, if you put tracks on there, and put them into a file with that data. Now, we then now need to go and get that data onto our GPS, or import it into our GPS so that it's all there and nice and easy and quick to do that. So, let's just switch back. So if we go back to this one, up here, if you go to Google and search for this software, Called GPS Babel. What this is is again another free software package and it just converts one type of GPS file to another type of GPS file. So unfortunately different manufacturers, different GPSs and all that sort of stuff have a different preferred format for their, their GPS and GPS Babel is fantastic. It has a whole bunch of different file formats that it can convert back and forward to. 
So if we have a look, I think um, old cabbage um, GPS here is um, uses these GDP map source files. So what I would do is I'd take my KMZ file and GPS bad was super simple. You just pretty much drop down box, load up the file, drop down box. This is what I want to convert it to. Hit, run, let it go, get it into the right file type and then upload it to your GPS. You're going to have to do a little bit of research how to do that just because every system is a little bit different. And look, you may if you're using your phone, possibly, you may just have to manually put them in there. So, there you go, amigos. Look at this, I'm still sweating gravy like crazy because it's hot as. But, how to find some spots. The beauty of this is you can go and find your own spots. You don't have to worry about Google searching some, like, GPS spots or coordinates that someone's chucked up on the internet that actually lead to you to, like, Bunnings down the road or something like that. They're legit spots. You found them themselves. You might stumble on some absolute gold that no one else knows about and find your own spot x and get out there and smash them so there you go really simple stuff but super effective if you're particularly if you're fishing a new area and you don't know you don't know where to go and fish boom instantly you can build yourself a whole bunch of spots that you can go and check out suss out try and fish them pick up some good ones and all the rest of it so there you go like fishing's not just about catching the fish it's about exploring and learning so you just learn some stuff you can go out and explore your own spots and get stuck into them so amigos get out there what are you waiting for go catch some fish find a spot x email it to me so i can go and catch those fish too happy days enjoy